kindness, humility, grace, and hard effort. Yeah, yeah, so are you. You're kind to say that. I enjoy my job, right? Yes, I am. Keanu's life would be a genre-defying film, and Oscars would be just the beginning. Keanu Reeves became a Hollywood icon from humble beginnings and early grief. However, he recently discussed life and mortality, emphasizing the significance of living honestly. What happens when we die? Keanu Reeves. I know our loved ones will miss us. What's he thinking about? How did his painful losses affect his life today? This unique episode shows how Keanu enters a Vietnamese theory. His next move was unexpected. A real star. In a San Francisco Vietnamese restaurant, Keanu Reeves did something unexpected that touched many and started conversations about kindness, community engagement, and the power of human connection. Small town Minnesota had a usual beautiful afternoon. Locals filled the North Star Diner, a charming diner known for its vintage decor and hamburgers. Talking, cutlery scratching tables, and iced tea being served created a warm, welcoming atmosphere. Customers didn't realize a special treat was coming. A welcoming gush of warm air interrupted the diner's cordial discussion when the door opened. Everyone turned to the door to see a towering man who appeared disoriented like he had arrived from another time and place. The web named Keanu Reeves, a great Hollywood celebrity, the most amiable man on earth, most adored anywhere. Instantly, the conversation ceased. Someone gasped, eyes widening and jaws dropping as people turned abruptly. Every diner patron could feel the bubbling excitement as they grasped what was unfolding. It was Keanu Reeves then. Obviously, this ordinary day would become memorable. What followed? The disturbing incident. Keanu entered the warm, comfortable, and thrilling diner as the sighting spread like wildfire and disbelief grew. He noticed the eclectic style, retro diner seating, and jukebox playing a classic tune. A tempting smell of sizzling fries permeated the room, stimulating his appetite. He was thrilled and entertained, because the star probably wondered how he got into such a wonderful but humble diner. He easily strolled to an empty booth, causing the other customers to gasp and whisper as they realized what was happening. As the show's finale approached, some took images of this legendary moment before Keanu on their phones. A lost young mother fought her unruly five-year-old kid on another table. This little girl was uncooperative in a pink unicorn t-shirt and two bouncy ponytails. Though successful and simple, this strategy eventually failed. She threw a cup of chocolate milk across the table. Ironically, the cup sailed through the air and landed on Keanu Reeves' lap. A strange silence pervaded the cafe, with only the sound of chocolate milk falling on the floor. When she realized the truth, the poor mother became pale. She stood up with shaky hands, holding napkins like a fighter, to apologize for the inconvenience. She felt ashamed because she knew a scene had just played out for most of the area, and everyone was waiting for Keanu's response. In the most dramatic moment, something unbelievable happened. Keanu seemed surprised, not annoyed, then looked down at his lap and smiled sweetly. He laughed, seemed someone ordered a drink too delicious for him. The cafe erupted in laughter, almost resembling a toast, quickly lifting the situation. The wicked girl looked away from her disturbed mother to Keanu, knowing of being watched. He was uselessly washing his jeans with napkins. Entropy intervened, turning the embarrassing incident into lovely remembrance since the North Star Diner was full of warmth and love. Why is Keanu's simplicity so relatable and down to earth? How are his deeds inspiring his fans? The kind acts. Despite popular belief, Keanu Reeves is a great performer in person. In response to his sister's fight with leukemia, he formed a private cancer foundation dedicated toward aiding children's hospitals and furthering cancer research. This is my final reason. It would degrade him and his actions. Keanu Reeves creatively directed the COVID-19 response by creating relief measures and called on initiatives to help pregnant film industry women, especially those overlooked by the Dolly Grips. His steadfastness in difficult times showed his regard. For those whose faces were hidden in his films, he volunteered at Camp Rainbow Gold in Idaho in June 2020, which helped youngsters with cancer, which contributed to his devotion. He worked so hard in oncology that Onco Daily named him one of the 100 most influential celebrities in oncology for his major and commendable changes. He says, money is the last thing I think about since he respects money and its contribution. According to some reports, he donated $35 million to $125 million from The Matrix to make up Cruz's special effects. It was explained that relevant budgets increased, rather than costs. He has helped crew members in need, even offering $20,000 US after a family issue. Reeves gave the 12-person Matrix Reloaded Stunt Squad Harley-Davidson motorcycles as a charitable move. He said it was a greater thank you to the guys who helped him make the movie. Such efforts demonstrate his genuine concern for others and want to improve society. Reeves advocates mental health and well-being through her banner and humanitarian work. He opens up about his losses and the challenges of fame. This understanding of hardship levels people. 
He is a lost soul and performer who has endured adversity. Keanu Reeves avoids luxury despite his affluence. He shows us the beauty of humility and charity by wearing casual clothes, eating at modest eateries and shopping or reading in parks. Anyway, how did Keanu's charm come from childhood? A bad childhood? Keanu Reeves was born in Beirut, Lebanon on September 2nd, 1964 to different parents. His mother Patricia from Essex, England designed and performed costumes. His father Samuel Noel Nolan Reeves Jr. is native Hawaiian, Chinese, English, and Portuguese. Reeves' paternal grandmother is Hawaiian Chinese. Family issues plagued Reeves' childhood. After their 1966 divorce, his mother moved the family to Sydney and New York City. The family moved to Toronto in 1970 after she married Broadway and Hollywood director Paul Aaron. Reeves grew up in Toronto's Yorkville neighborhood with a babysitter, despite divorces and family problems. Well-traveled Reeves, his paternal grandmother introduced him to Chinese food, art, and appliances. His mother infused her English ideas with British culture, including watching the two Ronnies. Reeves attended four high schools due to family moves. Due to dyslexia and other difficulties, he was expelled from Etobicoke School of the Arts for being overactive. Ice hockey was his passion at De La Salle College, where he excelled. He even wanted to film the Canadian Olympics before quitting at 15. Focus on acting, he quit high school at 17. This is when he started acting seriously. He attended Toronto's Avondale Secondary Alternative School. He moved to Los Angeles age 20 when his American stepfather gave him a green card. Reeves is Canadian despite his international heritage, which shows his hometown pride. From failing student to great actor is a tough route with many sleepless battles for dreams. Did his childhood suffering damage his relationships or followers' love for him? The biggest introvert in Hollywood, he became famous online in 2010 after a photo of him sitting alone on a park bench went viral, sparking the sad Keanu meme. He later said he was eating a sandwich and pondering about personal concerns when the photo was taken. According to 2005 Time magazine, Keanu Reeves is Hollywood's ultimate introvert. Many people find him adorable but shy and hardworking. People at work have commented on him. After years of working together, actor Shia LaBeouf observed Reeves' privacy. Director Francis Lawrence called him industrious and generous. Lawrence Fishburne, Reeves' close friend, called him sweet and polite, an intelligent person. Aziz Ansari remarked that Reeves is an angel, implying his heavenly presence. Actor Hiroyuki Sonata discussed Reeves' humility and determination to develop in a 2024 interview. He's known as Internet's boyfriend for his friendliness, with many recognizing his benevolence. His odd cinematic roles in geek culture have also made him popular online. The BBC called him the nicest man in Hollywood, and Screen Rant and The Guardian considered him one of the kindest actors. Many know Keanu Reeves for his warmth and charity. During a United Airlines flight delay in March 2019, he entertained passengers with trivia and music, exhibiting his kindness. His sincere fan interactions had made him popular. In 2019, he autographed a family banner with self-mockery while filming Bill and Ted face the music. Reeves' surprising wedding attendance in August 2022 was one of his most poignant moments. The bride described him as friendly and down-to-earth after meeting him at a bar. Another touching moment occurred during an October 2023 Dog Star concert where he played catch with a young fan who called it his best moment. Along with his generosity, Reeves is known for his film career. He was on Forbes Celebrity 100 and received the Hollywood Walk of Fame star in 2005. Due to his Matrix role, he became one of Hollywood's highest paid performers, which made him $250 million. In 2020, the New York Times named him one of the 25 finest actors of the 21st century. How has his love life affected his profession and personal relationships? Dogstar's 1998 party introduced Keanu Reeves to David Lynch's assistant, Jennifer Syme, starting a romance. Eight months into her pregnancy, Syme gave birth to a stillborn baby on December 24, 1999. After the heartbreaking loss, the couple split for a few weeks before reconciling. An automobile accident on Cahuenga Boulevard in Los Angeles killed Syme on April 2, 2001, ending the relationship. She crashed into three parked cars while drunk and not wearing a seatbelt. After reuniting, Reeves told detectives they had brunch in San Francisco the day before the accident. He helped bury Syme next to their daughter as a pallbearer. Reeves had dated model actress China Chow and filmmaker Brenda Davis, whose kid he godfathered. Reeves wrote two books with Alexandra Grant, whom he met at a dinner party in 2009. The couple announced their romance in November 2019. Reeves insists on keeping his faith private, does not require public disclosure. Though he has never embraced religion, Buddhism was a major influence on him, especially while making Little Buddha. He credits Buddhism for teaching him to understand feelings, accept life's transience, and appreciate others. I know that the ones who love us will miss us, Reeves said on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert in 2019. 
Keanomycin, a fungicidal lipopeptide, was named after Keanu Reeves in 2023 to celebrate his legacy. However, how has Keanu reacted to his successes? Life has dealt him. Shortness of life. Keanu Reeves recently discussed death and how it affects him. I'm 59, so thinking about the end of life is constantly on my mind, the actor says, as he approaches his 60th birthday. He promotes his latest book, Book of Elsewhere, which he penned with British author China Mayaville. His life and writing revolve around mortality in this book. This myth depicts death as an immortal warrior, which is similar to how Keanu views his purpose in life. Age brings the realization of transience, he says, argues. Adolescence conjures up ideals of beauty and freedom, and as young people, they realize these will fade. That's his fear. However, there is the belief that age can improve life and relationship understanding. Life is not tragic, he says. One realizes that these are limited times and individuals one can interact with. Existence has been discussed by Keanu Reeves. So you face your own and all existence mortality. Yeah. Wow. Also non-existent. Keanu Reeves has spoken poignantly on existence and non-existence and how creation may heal. He emphasized that creating another universe may be comforting. He says those activities are done anytime one needs a shield whether acting or writing. He feels the creative process often originates from grief, but it also helps people connect and find hope in difficult times. You what happens? The universe is ending. The time-space continuum ends. So you face your own and all existence is mortality. Yeah. After suffering several personal losses, Reeves' musings on life and death in his book of Elsewhere themes show a man who seeks meaning and purpose via creativity. Despite his challenges, Keanu's charisma and gentleness have won over many. Not everyone liked his John Wick character. If Keanu Reeves is a peacemaker, why are his films violent? In favor of violence. Keanu Reeves' real-life reputation differs from his John Wick fame. Many characterize Reeves as polite and courteous off-screen. A stark contrast to his on-screen aggression. As Oliver Stone's Oscar-winning picture Platoon celebrates its 40th anniversary, Charlie Sheen was close to playing Chris Taylor, but Kyle MacLachlan and Johnny Depp were also considered. Despite youth. In a 2011 interview, Stone said Reeves declined the role because he disliked playing violent characters. Ironically, John Wick, Reeves' most famous character, is a violent assassin. After his wife and dog's deaths, John Wick returns to paid murdering bent on vengeance. The franchise now alternates between bloodshed, dark humor, and reflection. Wick is reported to have killed 299 people in the first three films, and the figure will climb with new flicks. Raises the subject of audience connection. The answer may be Keanu Reeves. Reeves is compelling on screen despite his limited acting range. His portrayal of characters like John Wick, with subtle exchanges and reserved intensity, makes opponents underestimate him. Second, these movies are well-crafted and feel like state-of-the-art roller coasters with carefully coordinated action sequences. A critic called them a stunning ballet of bullets, blood and savagery. These flicks display constant violence almost artistically. However, Keanu Reeves has had mixed cinematic success. He has made more unsuccessful films than successful ones, Let's examine his disastrous films. Keanu Reeves has had movie office setbacks despite his success with John Wick and the Matrix series. After nearly four decades and over 50 films, box office disappointment is inevitable. Fans worldwide revere Reeves as a modern gun fu legend. Many of his low budget films failed commercially, although he also made high budget ones. The 1989 film Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure launched his career. Reeves is popular beyond his film performances due to his friendliness and respect within and outside the profession. Reeves' Cowgirls Get the Blues was a critical and audience disaster. With a $8.5 million budget, the 1993 film grossed less than $1.8 million. A major box office flop. Despite co-starring with Uma Thurman, both actors had better success. However, viewers disliked this flick. From a 1976 novel, the film's topics and manner may have been outmoded, contributing to its economic failure. Tune In Tomorrow and Henry's Crime both underperformed at the box office, highlighting his varied career. Do you believe Keanu's tragedy affected his career? Are his triumphs due to his kindness? Tell us in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Also, click the next video. You'll like.